Not Muhammad, hell-bent on world domination, infiltrated Trump Tower, disguised himself as Donald Trump, defeated Hillary in the debates, and became the 45th President of the United States. At last, his plans to control the world were finally within reach. This is his story. Frank! How are you, my friend? Frank? Uh, sorry, I, I think you have the wrong number. No, I do not make mistakes, Frank. Believe me. Uh, my name is Barack. None of this Barack Hussein nonsense. I want you to be frank with me. Are you, or are you not, a Muslim? Donald? Of course! Who else would it be? A uh, tremendous... I've told you a thousand times, I'm not a Muslim. I see. Very good. What is your current location? Uh, I'm on vacation. Michelle and I are uh, visiting my birthplace. Hello? Yeah, listen. Uh, Donald, I gotta get going. Uh, Michelle's in the jacuzzi, and I, uh... Hello? Yeah, Donald. Look, I'm getting a little tired of- Have you been wiretapping my phones? Uh, no. Then how is it you know everything I'm saying on the phone right now? Uh... Michelle, I'm sorry you had to be caught in the middle of this. But if it's any consolation, I very much enjoyed your performance in Conan the Destroyer. Sir, the court just tossed out your alternative Muslim ban. Damn it, Kellyanne. I don't want my people, I, I mean, those people, coming over here and being exposed to the, how do you say, a debauchery and immorality of all of these American non-believers. Why the hell do they want to even come over here and be amongst the infidels in the first place? <gasps> what in the Samuel hell is that? Why is my face on that newspaper? But your face is always on all the newspapers. And the alternative media too. What? My face is not to be depicted. Have Sean Spicy Wings do a press conference immediately. You are no longer allowed to depict Trump's face. Period. Um, that's actually a direct violation of the First Amendment. Exactly. You can't tell us not to show Trump's face. That's ridiculous. Yeah, there's at least ten good reasons to show Trump's face. <laughs> it's okay, Spicy Wings. Nobody can handle this better than I can. Believe me. That is a command, by the way. Believe me, or I will have you killed. <clears throat> I would like to give a CNN... Uh, the MSNBC and the failing BuzzFeed News exclusive access to the White House. Really? Yes, really. Follow me, please. Let's hang out. I told you, fake news! No more depicting my face and no more saying mean things about me and all that jazz. Oh, and no more jazz either. This executive order says that jazz is now illegal. I mean, technically I don't know what it says because I can't read, but I had it dictatored, I, I mean, dictated, and I assure you that it is illegal. Bigly illegal. Mr. President, the press is concerned about bodies hanging from the White House. Perhaps there's some alternative method we could- Nonsense! The solution is simple. I'll just post something on Twitter. Twitter? Yes! What my tweets are to the media is like what the car keys are to a baby. Now let's see what to tweet, what to tweet. 
Ah, I know. Tweet. It took Jaina thousands of years to build a single wall. Sad. Excuse me, Mr. President Trump, sir? DeVos. Henceforth, refer to me as Prophet Trump. Oh, it's because you like making profits so much, right? <laughs> yes, we'll go with that. Why are you in my presence, Betsy? We're hitting a little snag with our religious schools program. I don't want to hear it. I want the children saying their daily prayers. We've tried to institutionalism mate a morning prayer, sir, but the ACLU... A prayer? Just one prayer? Well, yeah, I think so. No wonder this country is in a moral cesspool. I want the children doing no less than five prayers a day. Obviously, the more prayers, the more morality. And no more of this Darwin nonsense. A ptua, ptua on Darwin! <laughs> sir! <sighs> what is it now, Spicy Wings? It's Milo, sir. He screwed up. Period. Of course, you SJW cocky cucks. I denounce pedophilia in the strongest terms possible. I find pedophilia to be... Uh, disgusting and utterly reprehensible. How dare you say such a horrific thing! Take him to the roof and toss him off! Uh, excuse me, everyone, but I would like to apologize for uh, Milo's hasty denunciation of pedophilia. And furthermore, I would like to announce that I have just signed an executive order uh, legalizing polygamy. Um, I d don't think you can do that, Mr. President. Uh, subsequently, I would like to introduce you all to my lovely bride, the new first lady Conway I'll let you have the honor the honor sir of course she can't flick the bean if there's no bean to flick if Allah wanted women to have clitorises then he wouldn't have given men the knowledge to create knives I guess that makes sense sir Sort of like an alternative vagina. Of course it makes sense. Look at this. We're obviously all feminists here, right? Now mutilate that girl's vagina and cover your ugly face. Oh, I'd also like to introduce everyone to the second first lady. Uh, the third first lady. Uh, the fourth first lady. is about religion, a religion that teaches, convert or kill. Let him prove it's a religion of peace.